Okay, guys, um, I thought I'd go back a little because as you guys are uh, remembering who you are, and uh, I decided that we, we'd go back kind of to the beginning and kind of move forward again, just as to help trigger your own memories. So a lot of you, as you start to wake up, you may have some interference with the bad guys. So I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the third going into the fourth dimension of uh, Earth. Now, a lot of the systems that are in place are controlled by the bad guys, the Deep State, the Illuminati, New World Order, whatever you want to call them, reptilians, whatever. They do control everything, but the reason why they do is because they've been sort of contracted, agreed to, uh, try to put pl things in place that will um, assist humans to get to the lower vibrations of 3D. In other words, keep them in amnesia so that they can develop those fear and despair, despair feelings that are the low vibrations of third dimension that you have come out of. So, if you look around at the world and you want to work within their game plan, it's going to be very frustrating and very scary because they control everything. And they do control everything. They hold all the cards when it comes to the third dimension. And um, those kind of people control everything in the fourth dimension on a bigger level. Can spread out. Now, there are good guys in the third dimensional level, just like there are good guys in the fourth dimensional level, but ultimately, they all are there to keep and maintain a certain level of vibration so that they can keep their, their gig, their setup, their belief system intact. So, in third dimension, it was fear. That was their big thing. And now you get to have a little bit more memory in fourth dimension. Like I said, it's judgment, the vibration of judgment. So they're not. there's a lot of places that will not keep you in fear or despair at all. So that will feel like relief to you in fourth dimension. But they will keep you in a state of judgment. And if you look back at third dimensional earth, you can see that transformation out of fear into judgment. Much more judging each other, judging other countries, judging, 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 rather than um, fear, which which the fear really left about the end of World War II. And it started making its transition into the judgment, and it took that long. It was a gradual, gradual process. All of this story was set up ahead of time in the now. So... As it moved from, as Gaia said, okay, made the call, brought in new star seeds, vibration started to go up. As it starts to go up from fear towards judgment, 3D to 4D, then it's a it's a different game. So there's no, there will be um, entities in the fourth dimension that will put people in fear because that is the vibration that they feed off of. But the majority, by far, is based on the vibration of judgment in the fourth dimension. So, as you, if you're in the third slash fourth dimension, jumping back and forth, and you might have entities that are trying to keep you in fear, get you to go back to the third dimension on another planet in your next life, or keep you in judgment. So, that is what you need to look at. Which is why I say happier and happier, don't be attached to anything. If you're not attached to anything in particular, it's really hard for them to work you to judge other people. If you're not attached to anything, if you're not attached to your race, if you're not attached to your money, if you're not attached to your family, if you're not attached to your country, if you're not attached to your uh, sexuality, if you're not attached to anything, then they have nothing to work with, with you. As long as you're attached to something, they can use that to pit you against somebody else on the other side. Okay? So, they may, in your process, depending upon where you are, you may have entities come and try to um, create fear or to really uh, promote this judgment vibration in you wherever you're weakest. And what I'm trying to do is make you aware. 
let's show you that this is going to happen that this is happening but the third dimension let's be let's be honest folks their contract was to keep seven billion gods in amnesia seven billion gods that's a lot of gods that takes a lot of systems in place in order to get that done so that they could help the entities that wanted to be in human form and experience lower vibrations so see they aren't the bad guys they they are the bad guys to you right now but they aren't the bad guys in the big picture because they have done this so that others could have this experience when you look at everything like that from a back up perspective and can look at the game for, through those eyes then you'll be a lot happier you'll be a lot happier and the whole game becomes fascinating at that point but as you as you move up through those vibrations those of you who are headed towards 5d they're going to see you coming they're going to see you moving and they're going to try to interfere with you remember their job keep all the gods in amnesia okay so if they see you breaking out of amnesia you might have some interference but I want you all to know that as you do that all you've got to do is smile at them and send them away okay don't make this harder than it needs to be if you are on your way to believing that you are a creator God and you have all the power it all the time which is really what you need to concentrate on that fact I am a creator God I got this I am a creator God I've got this I did all of it before I'm gonna do all of it in the future I got this I may not understand all of it all the time but I got this I can get out of anything no one can hurt me if they do I did something wrong I need to look at it and I, I can do it better so don't get all emotional about the whole thing if they come and interfere don't get all caught up in fear or or um, judging them because then they win and you're not going to move anywhere you have to operate from the standpoint of no worries I get you I know what you're trying to do it's cool but listen I'm on a different path so you need to go away and you need to do it with absolute belief and they'll just go away if you do it right they'll just go away if you're in fear then they got you get out of fear if you start being angry at them they got you because now you're in judgment so you've got to just stay very calm and remember you're a creator God and you got this right all of this was done for a reason you came here for a reason whatever that reason may be and uh, you'll learn it more and more and more as you get along because all of you guys didn't just come to help Gaia you've got layer upon layer upon layer of reasons why you came many many reasons why you came and each one of you is why you came is different so there is no blanket statement on why are we here we are here for our each individual creationary reasons so there is no blanket answer to that why am I here why are we here we're all here for different reasons okay now the main thing that tends to draw all star seeds together is that um, desire to help Gaia and it runs very very prevalent but that's not the only reason that you're here but don't worry about it don't worry about it if you follow these instructions of remembering who you are to the best of your ability as it comes it comes don't worry about it worrying is a form of fear and it will keep it at bay trust yourself love yourself know that it will come when it's supposed to and all is well in this moment and it will come but if you worry about where you are if you worry about uh, will I meet that right person if you worry about do I have the right job do I, if you worry about am I following my bliss then you'll get none of them because that's all fear it's all fear relax into the moment and you've heard people say this that you know I was looking for my soulmate I was looking 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 I never did find him finally I gave up relaxed and there they were and that's a prime example about how all of it comes to you you've got to relax it's in the resistance that you don't have it and I know this because I've got resistance too so uh, it's hard to get rid of I know I know but that's what you're working for 
That's what you're working for, to get rid of all that resistance, and then things just flow. And your memory will come back as it's meant to. You have a plan. You have a plan. You have higher selves above you that got a handle on this. They know what they're doing. You know what you're doing. You are a part of those higher selves. You're not separate from them. They are you. You are them. Okay? All right? Okay, hopefully that will help you guys as we go back a little bit and pull you forward again. And uh, I hope you guys are remembering a little bit more every day. And hopefully these videos will help. Okay, uh, huge hugs. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.